Okay, so from one renovation to another, we're gonna go back to that Riverfront Park story that we tried to get to you earlier. The Park Board voting today on the fate of some longtime park attractions. Here's Jack Ferris with that. The well, times are a change in and there's no better example of that than the construction in Riverfront Park and today the city decided what they're going to do with all of the park's carnival rides. After a lengthy discussion in which nearly every park board member chimed in, the fate of Spokane's carnival rides was ultimately decided by an 8-1 vote. The city will sell all but three of their 13 Riverfront Park attractions. We feel strongly about the uh, direction. We had a lot of support, 68% supported our bond issue. So the community had a shot at, at the choices that we were offering and, and said yes, we, we like the direction that you guys are going in. Vocally opposing the decision this afternoon was Hal McGlathery, who oversaw the rides during their glory days in the 90s when season pass ticket sales were over 10,000 a year. All I can say is I gave it my best shot uh, and there's still time. They might reflect on their decision. They might decide something different in the meantime. Uh, but in the meantime, for me, my golf game is going to improve. Now the board will look at ridership over the last few years to decide which of the three rides to keep and have pledged to put the money made from auction towards new riverfront entertainment. Yeah, I think um, I would call it an attraction because some of these things are, are not necessarily um, running on electricity. You know, you've been to ski resorts where you get on a, a bouncing thing and you're in a harness and you go up and do flips. There's all kinds of stuff on the market these days. So while the decision sacrifices a bit of Spokane's past, it's clear the park board is invested in Riverfront's future. Reporting from downtown, Jack Ferris, KXLY4 News.